What's up guys? This is Coach D-Flow. We are already five days in March Madness. That's right, we are on day number five. Today we're going to be focusing a lot on the lower core. The goal here is to try and keep the legs off the ground the entire time. This one is rough guys. It is hard. It is challenging. Just do the best you can with it. If you start getting low back issues, put the hands under your butt, put your feet down, make modifications, make those options because this one is rough. Okay, let's get to it. Four minutes straight. We're gonna start first in scissors. So for our scissors, we're gonna start left leg straight out, right leg up in the air, lift as high as you can, flex those quads. 30 seconds here and we switch. Let's go. Keep your belly button pulled to the ground. You're trying to keep your abs pulled down to the ground the entire time. Try not to arch the back. Flex your quads, pull your toes back. Okay, now at that 30 second marker, we're gonna switch legs. Let's do it, other leg up, left leg up, right leg to the ground, still working our scissors, breathing deep, enjoying all that hard work. If it bothers your back, put that foot down, bring it up, tap it. You see this bottom foot, drop that leg down, tap it, bring it back up, as long as you can. Don't sacrifice technique. Now, when we hit that three minute marker, we're gonna switch back and we're gonna go to sit-ups. Keeping the leg in the air, both legs up. We're gonna come up high as we can, right back down, keep those legs straight, arms up to the sky, and then up towards that foot, touching the ankle. Breathe in, breathing out. Now that 30 second marker, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna switch, same thing. Keeping those quads flexed, keeping those legs straight and breathing. Almost there. Now at this point, we're gonna bring both legs up to the sky. Bring them up, we're gonna go ground, coming up, touching the legs. Keep those legs as straight as you can. For me, I got hamstring flexibility issues, so mine don't go all the way up. Try and bring them as high as you can to keep those toes pulled back, touch the ground, touch the ankles. Now from here, put the hands under the butt, hip raises, legs in the air, going up. Try not to go back up, try and go straight up as you can. Push from that lower core lifting up, keeping those quadriceps flexed. Now an option here, you can always drop the legs back down, do a hip raise, come right back into it if that gets a little too challenging. Almost there. Now from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave the legs in the sky, you're gonna drop one leg, bring it back up. Drop one leg, bring it back up. Now here I want you to crunch up, crunch up. Hold those legs as high as you can crunched up. Again, hamstring flexibility issues, tight hip flexors, maybe you can only get as far as I am. 45 degree angle or so. Flex that core to bring that leg up. Try not to arch your back. Now, we're coming in on the last 30 seconds. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna go flutters. Keep those hands under your butt, legs off the ground. Flex those quads. We're gonna go over under first. Over under, and then we're gonna go right into flutter kicks. 15 second marker. Crunch up. Higher, crunch higher. Now flutters, up and down, side to side, come on. Up and down, side to side. Up and down, side to side. Finish it. And rest. Woo! Oh yeah. That is nice. Four minutes of work right there. That is day number five. Congratulations on surviving that. Make sure to stay tuned. Tomorrow we got day number six. We are working on plank movements. You're gonna learn all sorts of movements out of a plank. It is gonna be awesome. So make sure to join in and I will see you guys tomorrow.